Hi everybody, I'm back. Okay, so this is going to be the massive dump. <laughs> In artistic terms. So here I've got my whole array of colors over here and over here. You can't even see them all. And I am going to fill up a flip cup and use them up. See what we get. All right, everyone, I'm going to double time through this. I got to the end of the video and it was 26 minutes long, so I had to cut somewhere. So I'm double timing here. This is a 12 by 16 canvas. I theoretically would need seven ounces of paint. That's a five ounce cup, but I am going to have some puddle laid down. So this is going to work out. So that's my 24 karat gold, just covering the bottom of the cup with that. So that first color down will be the last color out. This color here is the Prism Pores Fandango. And I think I finish it all up here. This next color here is the sagey green color that I used on the blooms for the tiles for the weddings. This next color is Artessa's Pearl Sky Blue. And next is the same blue I used for the blooms, the Amsterdam blue-green combined with some Payne's gray and oxide white. And next I'm going to lay down a little pillow paint to be a divide between the blues and the reds I'm going to start laying down. Because if you lay down colors on the opposite side of the color wheel, you will get uh, potentially get mud. In this case, I didn't want to get purple between the blues and the reds. And if, for good measure, I just threw in a little cell activator just for fun. <laughs> so now I'm going to start with the Amsterdam's Violet, same one I used in my blooms. I really like that color. That color works nicely on a lot of areas. And then I thought I was going to go to the rose, but instead I went to the Prism Pores Pink Diamond. And then I'm going to go to the rose, my Dusty Rose combination which is a combination of Venetian Rose and some Payne's Gray. And what did I just grab there? Oh, I grabbed the Pearl Violet from Amsterdam. And now, what did I get? Oh, I got the Prism Pore Peach Dahlia there. Can't believe I remember these colors. And then the Artezas Bordeaux Red, which is another great color. But it did tend to take over at the end of this. And then what do I have here? Oh, that's my favorite, Nicolazzo Gold by Golden. Boy, I should do a test on myself here. <laughs> and then, of course, this is the 24 karat gold. But I just teased myself, it looks like. And... Oh, that's right. I went to the cell activator that I tried to use in the very beginning of this old Bloom series. That's Venetian Rose. I wanted to make it cell activator. It didn't work out very well. So that was Venetian Rose with Amst uh, Australian Floetrol. And this is the 24 karat gold. And then this is some uh, brown, which is a combination of Deco Arts Espresso and Artez's Van Dyke Brown. And then what do I go back to? Your guess is a good, as good as mine. Oh, that was the violet again. Then the pink diamond. And then what do we have next? Oh, the dusty rose. And at this point, I'm realizing that cup's not filling up very fast. But it turns out fine because I put enough pillow paint down so that takes up the difference in the seven ounces I needed and it actually turned out that I had too much paint anyway so that was dusty rose and then the pearl pearl violet which that's another color I love you put that up next to a, a red and it's fantastic and then I thought bl black cell activator but in the end the black cell activator never even showed up at least not visibly it may have had an impact but it didn't show up that is the Tuscan Sun by Prism Pour. And then my Quinacridone from Golden. And what else do we have? 24 karat. 
And I'm going to let the rest play out and be quiet as we speed through the rest of this. Just in a random pattern. Just so we have some some for place for the flow to go. I put it uh, Here we go. Yes, sir. -y. So I'm gonna double time through this as well. And after you flip your flip cup, you let it sit for, I would say, at least a good two minutes. And during that time, tap the bottom of the cup to help encourage the paint to flow to the bottom. You could even put like a thumbtack in the top and if you wanted it to flow out naturally. But since this is a flip cup, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna flip the cup later. So I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna lip through the composition. And you'll see that in a second here. Also during this time, I was cleaning up a little bit, adding a little extra paint, just doing a couple of odds and ends. But it doesn't hurt to have the, car, uh, the flip cup sit there for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna double time through this section. I mean, watching me lay down the pillow paint is not that exciting, nor is it very beneficial for you guys, except that it is important that I do cover the canvas uh, so that the flip cup can have a place to flow into without losing its composition. So that's all I'm doing here, just going around the edges, making sure everything's covered. I probably could have done a better job and laying down the pillow paint to start with instead of being as sloppy as I was. So anyway, continuing on here, I'll be quiet for a minute. There is another uh, benefit going on right now while I'm laying down the pillow paint, and that is air bubbles from the flip cup are starting to rise to the surface. So it gives it time to kind of settle down, settle in. I do f give it a torch for a second, and because there's still bubbles there, I decide to start smacking down the canvas to try to pop the air bubbles through force of it dropping down. And then I start the tilt and I go really slow, even though this looks fast, this is twice the speed. And I take very careful measures not to take the flip cup area over the edges at this point, because all I'm doing here is just trying to stretch it out, stretch the colors apart from each other, 
and see what I've got underneath everything. So I go from one corner, bring it back to the center, then go to another corner, bring it back to the middle, and make sure everything's covered as I'm going along. And I continue this for the next few minutes. I will also add here that the really nice thing about the bloom paint is that it's very, very thick. So you can really tease this paint to the corners pretty easily without it going too far. So again, now that I finally flipped it over a corner to hook the composition, I take it back to the middle. And then I decide to go to the next corner. And then as I'm doing this, I notice this little white section with the cells in the middle. And I'd be very, I'm very careful not to let that totally spill off the edge. And when I pull that back, I am so happy to see my planet or comet or asteroid evolve. That was the birth of the planet or whatever that asteroid figure is. And then with that, I continue to stretch it some more going to the other two corners, still more air bubbles. And I will say the dropping is a really good technique for getting out extra air bubbles. So I just now go back and forth to the different corners. And then when I get ready to go to the final corner after bringing it back to the middle, I kind of rock it back and forth so that the paint goes to the corner, toward the corner and not on one side or the other. So I rock one way, rock the other, guiding it toward the corner in like a little stream. This is a weirdo. <laughs> it's a weirdo. Okay, I want to get some of this off. I still have plenty of paint to get off of here. Look how fast it's moving. When it's moving like that, you know you've got more paint to dump more paint to dump. Let's drop that corner a little bit too. Take a look at this thing. Now this is really crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way now. I'd like to get a little of that red off. Stretch out this 
stretch out this green in here. to keep that little crazy white thing at the top, my top. But I still have plenty of paint to take off, look at that. It's running like the wind. Sorry about that. Still gotta come more this way. You can feel the weight of the paint. white over here is just a little stark. Need a little more. Just a little more. Just went a little bit there. is wild. I'm gonna drop it. Wild, wild, wild. Okay, you probably can see it pretty good where you are. But I'm gonna get you the close up. This is so interesting. So interesting. So that's a wrap, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, share, comment, and I'll be back to you. Take care now.